Today, we're on a trip to Bath to go on a charity shop hunt looking for games like this. This next stop seemed to have a wall of nostalgia. I was starting off with this Thunderbirds photograph album. I didn't pick it up because there was only listings for 20 pounds and there was no sold. Similar story with this Roy Rovers. Uh, listing for 15, sold for five. That's how much they had it selling for. Then I got really excited when I spotted this pile of games right here. Started sorting through them, checking the listings on eBay. Some real outstanders there, but I'm not sure how legit these listings are. I'm going to have to do a bit more research on them. But nonetheless, some really good finds. In this next spot, they had a really decent media selection. So I took my time to sort through all of the sealed DVDs and box sets that they had available, brought them to the front, and then made a process of scanning them all on eBay, see how much they were going for and if they were worth picking up. Some decent finds in there, like Paul and the Simpsons movie. I finally spotted the games on the bottom shelf. Wonder what we're gonna find? Sing It, the High School Musical Edition. Won't be picking that one up today. I actually didn't pick any of these games up this time. None of them were going to be a decent flip for me and I'm not looking to collect these games. I should have picked this one up. Uh, unfortunately, I left it there. Actually, a lot of these DVDs I didn't bother picking up. As you can see, the potential just wasn't there for a lot of them and it's not worth me making the investment. I wish I knew more about comics and what I was actually getting into so I could sort through this pile and be motivated to, but to be honest, I was just like, this is not my realm. I'm gonna leave this for someone else. In the next spot, we found these sealed Fujifilm CDs, ready to store photos, all still in the packaging, and some TDK branded ones as well. I didn't bother picking any of these up because it's only worth it in a large multi-pack. Found this sealed version of Seven Wonders Duel. Great game if you haven't played it, but priced at 12 pounds, I'm gonna be leaving that one.
This corner of the shop gives off some real vintage vibes, some nice vintage finds too, like this fascinating Cracker Jack. At the time, I didn't know how much this went for, but I went back and picked it up for sure. There was this dandy annual 2011, not the best find, but still a bit of nostalgia. And then these film reel tins. I kind of wish I picked them up just to put on the shelf. They like really nice display items. Uh, there was no films inside, so we were missing that. Then I spotted this Fisher Price Children's Hospital. What a hit of nostalgia. I remember playing with that back in primary school. And then what did we stumble across? The Guns of August. Never heard of this before. Apparently it's a vintage board game worth 75 pounds. Back home from Bath. Let's go for all the finds we got. So in we found this beautiful Beauty and the Beast mug here for three pounds. I believe it sells for 20, 25 on eBay. Pop up a listing somewhere on the screen for you. Then we have my first find of the day was this Hamilton jumper, exclusive when you go to the show. I think it's the merch they sell there. But I paid seven pound 25, 775. And it's a 20 to 25 pound hoodie, not too bad. I was excited about this one. It's a maximum Comanche overkill game. But if I just show you inside, you have the main mission discs. One, two, and three. And then you have these overkill mission discs. One, two, and three. Bunch of cool stuff in there. Nostalgic. Bit before my time, but still a cool pickup for five pounds. Not too bad. Then we have Sealed Rapido. Always like picking up board games, sealed or not, but today seems to have just been a day of loads of sealed stuff and finding plenty of things, so why not pick them up? Four pounds, can't go wrong. Sells on eBay between like 10, 15, 20, depending on condition and how bad someone wants to pay it. Uh, how, how bad someone wants it and when, if they're willing to pay for it. But yeah, not bad. The main stack. So, something I was absolutely delighted to find was some Spectrum and Atari games. I've been looking at a lot of these on Facebook Marketplace, not pulled the trigger on any yet, but I found this top 10 Aztec challenge for the Atari. Paid five pounds for it. There's listings on eBay for 50 pounds plus. Uh, there are a few cracks in the case, so we might not list it for that, but still should be a good flip. Caverns of Urban? Urban? Don't know if Urban? I'm saying that right. Atari. Uh, another Atari game. Two pounds. Again, can't go wrong. I think it sells for like 10 to 15 pounds. And then we have this one. This was an oddball. I thought we hit the jackpot and I was a bit confused about the price. As you can see, compared to these, this says 30 pounds. So I asked the lady at the till and she said, Oh, I think that's a mistake. I'll put that through at three pounds for you. So what a bargain. I think there is a little, there's a little mark or tear on the sticker, which is a bit of a shame, but there seems to be a listing for 300 pounds for this one game. I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'll have to do a bit more research, but should be a good one. Moving on, we have this vintage, fascinating Cracker Jack. Still in the box, still sealed. Well, sealed essentially in what it would originally come in. Paid eight pounds for this one, so it was a bit of an expensive uh, purchase, but it is vintage. I've looked, the, looked them up, previous sales for this in the box all sealed. Again, it's about 18 to 20 to 25 pounds, varies a bit. A lot of the sales were on the build up to Christmas, so I might be sitting on this one for a while. Still a good flip. This one was just, uh, it was the only sealed game in the shop and it was 50p, so I couldn't turn it down. TV Giant on the PC, still sealed, brand new, never used, never opened. Even got the game sticker on there. Uh, I'm not sure how old that is. Not a big hitter or anything like that. I'll pop some of the listings up on screen for you, but again, sealed games. I'm a sucker for it, as you shall see. As I was purchasing that TV giant, I found Perudo, 
just at the teal. She just priced it up and was about to put it out. Um, while I was waiting in the queue, I looked it up to see if it would be a good pickup, asked if it was available. She said, yeah, sure thing. Uh, just priced them up. So I took it. Four pounds I paid for this, and they sell on eBay for 15 to 20. Again, seal. More sealed things. Double copy of Snatch and Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Sealed, two disc edition. Paid three pounds. Sells on eBay for 12 to 15. There's some other listings on there for a bit lower than that, but it has actually sold in the past for that amount. And this is really good condition, so I'll put it up at 15. And the last pickup, oh no, not the last, second from last pickup of the day from me, was this sealed again, as time goes by, the complete series five to nine. I paid two pounds for it. And sells online between eight to 12 pounds. Not the biggest come up, but I thought it was pretty decent, make 10 pounds profit on it. At the time they did have this series one to four as well, but it wasn't sealed and I didn't want to make like a half sealed, half unsealed box set bundle. So I thought I'd just go with this one. The final purchase made of the day was this Blue Moon household bottle opener. I looked them up um, to try and find what this was going for. There seems to be a different one, a, an older vintage one that actually just says Blue Moon across it without the image. Um, I think that's the more valuable one. But again, this sells between eight to 10 pounds. Still in the bag, sealed, technically. 50p, can't go wrong, thought I'd pick it up. And the people in the shop are lovely. So that's all the finds from today. Thank you for watching, catch you next time. The total I spent on everything from today's trip was 47 pounds and 27 pence. And the total potential profit I can make is 227 pounds. Finds are still out there.